Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And I thought for today we'd go ahead and take a look at the lesson that's assigned for evening prayer from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Uh, we're in the eighth chapter, but I wanna skip forward, even though the reading is assigned to start at verse 28, I actually wanna take a look uh, at verses 35 through 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, I mean, this is such a wonderful and strong testimony for us uh, to be able to hold on when things are rough, when things are hard, when we are struggling, struggling in the faith, as well as struggling in everyday life, we can hold on like a life preserver for somebody who's drowning or feels like they're drowning. Hold on like a life preserver to these particular verses. The reality is, and St. Paul is 100% right, usually is, isn't he? St. Paul is 100% right that there's nothing that will separate us from the love of God. Now, the evil one, the devil, he will try. He's tricky that way. He's going to try to uh, tell you that you're unworthy. He's going to try to convince you that you're unforgivable, that God can't do that for you. Or he's going to, even worse, he's going to try to convince you that sin is okay, that perhaps we know better now, that this thing that, that scriptures attest to is sinful because it's revealed in nature and revealed by God is sinful, that really we know better now because we're modern people. Uh, and all of that, of course, is the way to trick us out of the way in which God would have us live. So the devil is very tricky that way. Uh, other people who will want us to join in their folly, other people will jo join us in their revelry, in, the, in their madness, and warring against each other, as well as trying to do things to fill that empty void within their souls that really should be filled with the presence of God himself. So other people will try to do those things. And our own fallen condition will try to drag us away right? Our own desire for sin, our own desire to fill those spaces with that space in our heart that, that belongs to God with all sorts of carnal things and, and other things that just cannot really suffice. None of these things, they're all cheap imitations. But the good news is, is that nothing can separate us from the love of God. He loves us so much. He loved us before we even understood that we could love him. And having now, by grace, through faith, come into that relationship with him, we cannot be separated from him. You know, the only thing that can separate us is us. If I make a decision not to follow Christ, and even then, I know he'll be right behind me, waiting, hounding, and trying to get my attention out of the love he has for me. But nothing from the external forces will be able to separate me from the love of God, right? Not death, nor life, or angels, or principalities, or powers, things present, things to come, right? None of those things, depth, nor height, or any creature can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, because he is love. And by grace through faith, we are his. So today is Tuesday, right? 1215 Holy Communion, uh, as, as we have on Tuesdays. And then, of course, uh, I hope that you will join us in person, worship with us, receive the Blessed Sacrament, or join us on one of these uh, online vehicles in order to watch and to pray for us and with us. I hope your Tuesday is a day that is full of blessings.